What if you could edit your vlogs like Michelle Choi? I did the research and narrowed down the Michelle style into nine points. We'll start with the intro. Almost all of Michelle's recent vlogs start with the iconic song, That Kind of Love by Eamon, alongside a compilation of what will happen in the video. Then we get the title slide and then the camera shutter sound to blackout. This means you have to find an intro song to make part of your own brand. Michelle gets her song from Epidemic Sound, but that ranges from $10 to $18 per month. So if you want a free alternative, you can use Thematic, which both Michelle and I used to use. If you want to download the intro scene background and all the Michelle sound effects for free, then stick around because I'll show you the quickest way to get them. After the intro, the real work begins. You're gonna wanna start with a scene that has its natural sounds. I like to call these quiet scenes. They're the scenes that show what's happening instead of verbally saying what's happening. These scenes set the calm. After maybe a few seconds of natural sounds, you fade in the music and the mood is set. Occasionally, she opens with herself talking, but that's usually followed real quick by quiet scenes. Anyways, you're basically Michelle Choi at this point. We've got a flow and now we gotta keep it going. Michelle likes to greet her viewers. Most notably, she likes to say good morning or have it pop up as a text. These might be your first words or among the first. Got it? Good. Other than the quiet scenes, there are some other scenes that you're gonna wanna have throughout the video. Happy moments! This is how Michelle uplifts our souls. It comes in the form of scenes where Michelle is just laughing with a friend or where she shows her genuine gratitude to someone. That's a big one. Show your thanks because positivity doesn't expire, but negativity never ages well. Influencer things. For those of you who don't know, this is when you run back to the camera after shooting some candid movement. I feel like influencer things adds to Michelle's down-to-earth charm, so I had to mention it even though it's usually just one scene in the whole vlog. You're gonna wanna pair it with the cartoon trill sound effect that will be in the free download. iMovie calls it a cartoon trill, but it reminds me of Scooby-Doo running from the baddies. Recurring mundane activities. This is your cooking, cleaning, building, prepping, eating, and exercising. There is always some cleaning in every video. And when it comes to eating, Michelle's parents said she always makes her food look so good. So go ahead and savor what you're eating. Eating is also a wonderful time to talk with a viewer. In terms of exercise, there's this one thing Michelle does where she struggles to climb a flight of stairs. I don't really get out of breath when climbing the stairs, but I basically reproduced it in my own Michelle style vlog. Not to mock her, but because it's such a Michelle thing to do and I wanted to replicate my role model. It's also like an inside joke for true Michelle fans. <laughs> I'll expand more on the kinds of scenes you're gonna want to include later in the video, but for now, I'm gonna tell you about the captions, sound effects, and music. I edited this last, but I think it's something good to keep in mind from the start. In an 11 minute video, Michelle Chue has 22 song changes and 17 different songs total. This is about 10 music changes every five minutes. Basically, change your music often. Michelle switches songs whenever she moves from one activity to another and sometimes even mid conversation. This music keeps the energy going because even if a scene is boring, music makes it beautiful. One of the tricks Michelle uses to seamlessly switch songs is to fade out one song while fading in the other to make it sound like they're both from the same song. Sometimes the clip is muted and the music plays on its own. Other times, the natural sounds are kept in. You get to decide. She uses a variety of music, but I'd say it's mostly jazzy with a hint of K-pop. These are the songs that I use to replicate her vibe. You can hear them in action in my vlog. I know for a fact that she used Giving Tree and Turtle Beach in one of her vlogs, but the rest was me listening to a song in her video and trying to find something similar. For captions, make that text yellow when words are translated and when someone speaking is unclear. White text is used for your thoughts about the scene, extra details, and context for what's happening. Think of the white text as a text message to the audience and write in that style. From the fonts I had available, I thought Microsoft Sans Serif was the closest to what Michelle uses. But not all text shows up at the bottom of the video. Michelle also throws in some floating subs. Most famously, she uses this when Dobby is in view. If you're tagging a location, pick a corner and stick with it. For all of this text, you're gonna put a sound effect for when they show up. And there are a lot of sound effects that Michelle uses. Back-to-back -back text will never have the same sound effect. Even if it's just popping sounds, for some reason she has a bunch of subtly different popping sounds. Now it took me hours to find all the sound effects, but you can download them all in the link in the description. It takes you straight to the download, no email needed, although I'd appreciate if you dropped a little comment in return. In the download, you'll also find the keyboard typing sound that plays while Living Alone Diaries is typed out. By this point, I'd say you're about halfway to making your vlog unmistakably Michelle. 
here's how you're gonna reach full potential. A lot of her editing boils down to what she finds important enough to film. If you can perfect the filming style, then I'd say about a third of your editing is already done. This is when it helps to not have anything filmed yet. Your vlog has to show more than one day in your life, unless it's a what I eat in a day. Michelle usually includes more than three days and up to a week. She does this by condensing some events into a few short scenes that capture the essence of what happened. So you're not going to want to have a bunch of full-blown conversations unless you're having a one-on-one -on -one talk with the viewer. When you're in public, you should try to hold your camera still, but if it's shaky, that's alright. When filming herself, Michelle cares more for if you understand what's happening. The camera also doesn't need to be too far from your face. I believe she keeps the camera close because she's a little shy to film in public. The first time I watched Michelle, I remember thinking, how did she get all these angles? One time, it was a shot from across the subway tracks. Another time, it was from across the street. That might be a little tough for you to do. So the easiest thing you could try is getting a bunch of angles while you're cleaning. Go high, low, and sideways. Every vlogger chooses to share different things. If you want to embody Michelle, this is the kind of talking you'll be sharing. You have to say what you're gonna be doing as if you're telling a friend. I struggle with this a little because I just do everything in my head, but I feel like saying it aloud is a great way to give some context and to put a little curiosity in the mix. Don't be afraid to share the issues you're facing in terms of physical and mental health. For Michelle, she talks about her PCOS, therapy, body insecurities, armpit sweating. Don't shy away from having that heart to heart where you share some something you're struggling with or that you've overcome. Show off the products that you use. This includes things that you recently purchased, things you swear by, and the stuff you're wearing. Specifically for clothes, you're gonna mention the brand, color, material, and shape. Voice your thoughts, opinions, emotions, reactions, the why to what's happening. Or show it. Include that scene where you're falling asleep while eating a bowl of ramen. Where you decide to rewatch a good show. Or where you fall into bed because you're just that tired. Moving on from the talk, 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 we have our recurring side characters. This is your best friend Kristen, your quirky mama, your blurry salsa man. Basically, the close relations that you have. Build your own Michelleverse. If you don't have these characters in your life at that moment or during that week, there's always the Dobby. Kristen, why are you here? In my case, I just got shots of my little brother being a cutie patootie because I don't have a dog. Keep the ending open-ended. This vlog is just a single journal entry of your growing life. You're gonna relax the mood with a quiet scene. Cinematic shots of the city, silent cleaning, spending time with someone you appreciate. And then you're either gonna fade to black and show the end card or jump cut to the end card. Anyways, if it's all too much to remember, I linked all the notes I took in the description. But remember this, the Michelle magic is in the variety. A variety of music, angles, pacing, and details. If you want to see how anyone can have the Michelle aesthetic, I made a vlog myself using all the research that I showed you here. My bestie who introduced me to Michelle literally said I could be Michelle's editor. So I think it'll serve as a great example for you. Thank you for watching.